You know Robert E. Lee. He was the leader of the Confederate Army. It's a part of our history that we had a civil war. Uh, well, Charlottesville, Virginia, which obviously a couple years ago, there was the incident in Charlottesville with actual white supremacists who were chanting and marching through Charlottesville. And it was all because they were gonna take down a statue of Robert E. Lee. And uh, now they are going to take down a statue of Robert E. Lee in Charlottesville and they're gonna melt it and turn it into a social justice thingamajig. Uh, we've got a quote here from the newspaper that is now known as the New York Times, but it's really not a newspaper, but we went with the New York Times because I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be, you know, give you a plurality of opinions around here. The city council of Charlottesville, Virginia voted on Tuesday to donate a statue of Robert E. Lee to an African-American heritage center that plans to melt the bronze monument, the focus of a deadly white nationalist rally in 2017 into material for a new piece of public art. The four to zero vote by the council followed years of debate over the fate of the statue. Four years ago, a plan to remove the statue drew scores of white nationalists to Charlottesville for a Unite the Right rally that led to violence, including the killing of a counter protester by an Ohio man who plowed a car into a crowd. After taking it down, the city accepted proposals from bidders who wanted the Lee statue and a nearby statue of Stonewall Jackson, another Confederate general, that was also removed. So, okay, so let's back up because this is, a, this is a big thing. This was one of the key moments over the last couple of years. Charlottesville, very fine people on both sides, white supremacists, like the whole thing, right? It all boiled down over the last couple of years in some ways to this very moment in Charlottesville. So what they are gonna do now is they're gonna take that statue, they're gonna melt it, they'll turn it into some social justice thing, I don't know, a George Floyd Memorial or, okay, whatever they're gonna do. Now that's, I suppose, the city council's choice and if that's what they're gonna do, that's what they're gonna do. Now, as I always say with these uh, statue removal stories, it's like, does any of this make us more tolerant? Does anyone feel that we are becoming a more tolerant, a more open society because of any of this? Are we turning to our neighbor and looking at that neighbor and giving them the benefit of the doubt because of any of this? Or is it making us actually more polarized? Is it oddly making everything more racist? Have we unearthed some stuff that we had put down for a long time? I think the answer to that is probably yes. Uh, but the reason I wanted to do this story is not so much that they're gonna melt this thing and turn it into some weird social justice statue that's just fine if so they choose. Um, but this is the moment that really broke a lot of people. When you talk about Trump breaking people and the media lying about everything. So now I'm gonna show you the video right after the Charlottesville incident. This is Donald Trump talking about the white supremacist, talking about canceling historical figures and talking about very fine people on both sides. And you just see for yourself if this video is the way that it's framed when you hear about this on mainstream media. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group, excuse me, excuse me, I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name. George Washington was a slave owner. Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we gonna take down, excuse me, are we gonna take down, are we gonna take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we gonna take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Now are we gonna take down his statue? So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history, you're changing culture, and you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Did you get the last three seconds of that? He absolutely, in his words, totally condemns the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists. When he's talking about very fine people on both sides, he is talking about very fine people on both sides of whether you should take down these statues. Because if you take down a Robert E. Lee statue, as he points out, well, then you're gonna have to take down George Washington statues and you're gonna have to take down Thomas Jefferson statues, which of course, that is what the woke progressives are coming to do. Now, what's interesting about that clip, and I know you guys know this because you watch this show and you're not brainwashed, you know, NPC blue check buffoons, um, he did do that and it's been debunked a gajillion times, but most people don't know that. Most people don't know 
that right after he said very fine people on both sides, which became a rallying cry for the left in mainstream media, that Donald Trump is, is a racist and a white supremacist, even though he condemned them just seconds later, which they never show, that became a rallying cry. What most people don't know is that moment of Trump right there, that is why Joe Biden said he was running for president. So now we're gonna show you a minute of Joe Biden's campaign launch video. And this is actually quite extraordinary. I wish other people in mainstream media would cover this sort of thing because Joe Biden decided to run for president because of Charlottesville. That's exactly what he said. And this is a minute of his campaign ad. Take a look. It was there on August of 2017, we saw Klansmen and white supremacists and neo-Nazis come out in the open. Their crazed faces, illuminated by torches, veins bulging and burying the fangs of racism, chanting the same anti-Semitic bile heard across Europe in the 30s. And they were met by a courageous group of Americans and a violent clash ensued. And a brave young woman lost her life. And that's when we heard the words of the President of the United States that stunned the world and shocked the conscience of this nation. He said there were, quote, some very fine people on both sides. Very fine people on both sides. You see what he did right there? You see what he did? So just know that Joe Biden in his campaign launch video where he talks about the reason that he got back into politics after stepping away for four years was because Trump was racist. Trump was basically a white supremacist. Trump did not condemn white supremacists and neo-Nazis. And I just show you the video that he did. I don't even mean to make this all about Trump, but this is what it's all about. We are being fed lies and lies and lies and more lies. And until people are woken up from those lies, it is just going to continue. It just ain't gonna stop. So Joe Biden launched his campaign on a lie. Are you a Biden supporter? May wanna think about that, may wanna think about that.